just been joined by Luke Gunn, who successfully defended his national 2000 meter steeplechase title. 8.37, gun to take victory, highly impressive. Looked like you were sending out a message there, Luke, to the selectors that you're here, you're committed to getting these times. So. It was, yeah, I mean, I really wanted to get a beast standing today, really wanted to. Um, last week was slow and tactical at the European Cup, so fast times were out the window. Uh, so I went for it today, but one of those days where legs don't feel quite as poppy and it's warm, it's a bit of a wind on your own. Um, I tried, I uh, tried to rally myself in that last K, uh, but I was just holding on then for the end. Okay, you touched one off camera, you just saying you picked a whole load of 837s, 835s, you're not quite in that big standard shape. Yeah. You do hold the personal best of 828. What do you think, is it this year that's perhaps, is there something not clear, or do you think the time's there, it's just obviously getting the right conditions, yeah, the right no, race? I was, uh, Thanks, man. Yeah, what's I, uh, I ran 8.35 in Holland uh, earlier this year, and that was my chance, I think, to get the fast time. But it was chucking it down with rain the whole weekend, and I ended up beating people that ran 8.23, 8.22, sure. um, but the times were slow. Last week was slow again, tactical. I just uh, not had much luck on my side race-wise. Yeah. But I suppose in your benefit, you've proved that you are a racer and you are a competitor, because obviously today going out like that, last week in the European, Cup fifth was it sorry in a highly competitive field obviously these are things selectors look at but you were just saying do you think obviously if you don't have the time do you think you've got much chance of being I, I think to... they're quite clear and they say well they technically say you need two B standards at the very least so I'm not sure if I'd ran fast last year I might have had a shot I, I, I hope they consider it I ran a massive PB at 1500 already yeah. this year I know the quick time's there and I'll probably get it at Gates there a week after the deadline and, and be kicking myself for not getting it earlier. Well, as you said as well, there's obviously the Commonwealth Games. It's not just all about the Europeans yeah. as well, so you do have the standard for that. So is that as obviously... It's a rare situation, yeah. I mean, for the last eight years, there's been no fast steeplechases in there in England. And this year we've got Gateshead, Angler, Angler, Crystal Palace, which are Diamond Leagues. And I'd hope as the British League that I'd get into both of those. Mm -hmm. So by not making the Europeans, it doesn't mean I can't have a good season and run fast. Commonwealth is so far off, I'm just going to leave it alone for now and uh, see where I'm at in September and get some uh, get focusing on that. But if I don't make the Europeans, it's still good opportunities. Good, good. Yeah. Just one thing last to touch on, because obviously those who are aware, you have been out in Florida State, you just a great NCA career out there, yeah. medalies and the championship. Twice was it so? Did you just medal? one medal, just yeah. Just one to obviously 8.28, that's where your personal best. You settled now back in Britain, back with Bulldera, with Bulldera and Birmingham. How difficult or easy has that transition begun? Because I suppose some people may point out he's not running as quick because he's yeah. back in the UK. So sort of right, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely in better shape than I was at any time in Florida. Even when I ran 7.53 indoors for a 3 game flat. Um, the first six months were a bit odd because I didn't have a job. I was kind of uncertain on where I was going. Now I've got a great job at the university. Uh, it allows me to train as much as I want. Um, Bird has been my overall influence for the last seven or eight years, even when I was in Florida. Uh, it's great to see him every day and have his influence. And I'm really settled back in Birmingham. Um, I run on the canals every day. It's, it's a great place to train. It's a great group. group the young lads like James Wilkinson, Dan Crawley, who I get to train with, they keep pushing me. I think this is the best setup I've ever had, and that's the side of the weather in Florida and the physio support. This is the greatest setup I've had. Good. Well, it's good. It's good, to, it's good to hear then, Luke, and hopefully, like I say, you'll get that rhythm and things will continue to push forward. So, thanks, thanks so much for talking thanks to us. Very much. Thank you, mate.